Hello everyone, I this is Diamond Girl thirty four and um you might be wondering what the heck's going on here because this is not a machinima, this is not a let's play. It's a book. Well, I've started writing a book about um Minecraft, about Cubeville. <laughs> um so Mini, Sean Minecraft, uh Catty, Girly Geek, if you're all if you're um all reading this you might um, hear some things that you remember from Cubeville. The book's called Minecraft because I couldn't really think of anything else. Let's begin. Chapter 1. Teal, working all night. Diamond opened her, opened her eyes and stared up at the pink and grey ceiling of her bedroom. She sat up in bed and stretched her arms up to the air and yawned. She twitched her wolf-style ears and untied her braided hair. It fell in a crinkled wavy sheet over her shoulders and she got up. She went over to her wardrobe and opened her clothes chest. She thought for a while before de deciding on her purple candy pop club boots and her iron chest plate, helmet and leggings. Caddy came rushing into Diamond's room and put a cake down on the floor. Eat it, she said. Why? asked Diamond. Needs to be tested, said Kate, said Caddy, folding her arms. Okay, said Diamond obligingly. She quickly nommed to the cake and then looked at Caddy's worried face. It's good, nodded Diamond. Needs more icing, though. Caddy's face softened. Thanks, Dyer, she said. I knew it about the icing, though. We've run out of sugar. Diamond and Caddy walked down the lane that connected Diamond's room to the rest to the rest of them. She stopped at the third door and knocked. Teal, are you in here? A voice called from behind the door. Come in. The door's open. Diamond, Diamond opened the door and Caddy followed her into the end-style room. A girl was working at an anvil and looked up as Caddy and Diamond ent entered. Hi, Cats. Hi, Dyer, she said. Look what I did with my sword. She, she chucked the gold sword she had been working with over to Catty. Catty put her hand up and deftly caught the sword, ha the sword handle. She, exam she examined it. The gold objects shone in the light of the glowstone. Wowza, said Catty, giving it back to Teal. Projectile two and knockback three. And it's got your name embedded, embedded in the blade. You must have worked all night. Well, said Teal, placing her s the sword in her chest. I was working all night. Fishing, actually. Piggly and me were fishing in the lake near the spawn, the one where you sit, stand on the lily pads. And Piggly fished out the knockback three book. She was nice enough to give it to me. Teal smiled over to, to a corner of the room. Catty and Diamond w waited for their eyes to adjust to the dark of the corner. When they had adjusted, they saw a pink piggy wig <laughs> standing on one of Teal's chests. Hello, said Piggly, coming over to Diamond and Catty and giving them a hug. Want to see my room? I'm redecorating. Chapter 2. Rushing through the night. The next day, Diamond was all packed up and ready to meet Minnie on the path to Minnie's town, Minnieville. She was at the spawn at night and ready to go down the white southeast portal drop. She hit the brown lift sign and was teleported five stories above the spawn. Which did Minnie, Which one did Minnie say she would meet me at? wondered Diamond. She did a 360 turn at a snail's pace. There was the blue path, the white path, the red path and the black path. All made of different materials. The black was obsidian, the blue was lapis lazuli, the white was quartz and the red was redstone. She suddenly decided that it was the white path and ran down the sparkling white quartz tunnel. She folded her arms across her chest, closed her eyes and dropped. Her long brown hair flew straight up into the air and she fell for maybe about five seconds before flailing helplessly in the air and dropping onto the trampoline style slime block landing that lay underneath to prevent any harm to the faller. She bounced three times before landing face down on the sticky slime box block square. She got up and looked around for Minnie, her sword poised. The mob slinked in and out of the darkness. But none of them dared go near her when she was on the bright lighted slime square. She hopped off the green slime square, and as soon as her feet touched the, gro the ground, they had her. She ran from the creepers, dared not look at those endermen, and tried to get away from the fast legged black spiders. Suddenly, Diamond looked up, and standing on a hill, screaming, I am actually gonna die now, was Minnie. Diamond sighed a sigh of relief and rushed up to her. She narrowly saved her from a creeper attack before screaming, Minnie, I'm here! Minnie looked at her from uh, Minnie looked up from tying her shoelace and hugged Diamond. Let's just get out of here. They rushed through the darkness. 
Diamond's hair blew, up, blew in the wind and she ran through the path of many skeletons and creepers before wishing that it would become day. Why is it always me they target? She screamed as two creepers blew up behind her. Minnie laughed as she softly jumped along the fences and placed torches for Diamond to follow. The stone path became wood as they neared Minnieville. A skeleton suddenly shot Diamond with an arrow and she screamed before tumbling into a nearby river. Minnie laughed her head off before dragging Diamond out of the river. It was raining now. A few minutes later, Diamond and Minnie were joined by Disabelle. Hi, said Disabelle, shaking her long multicoloured hair into a ponytail. Diamond wa wave waved. Hello, Diza, she said. Well, that was basically the first two chapters. If you want more, too bad. I haven't written any more yet. Well, I might have if you're watching this, I don't know, next if you're watching this, I don't know, next week. But, <laughs> yeah. I haven't written any yet. Please like, please like this video if you want some more chapters of my book. Um, because if I get enough likes and I'm confident enough that you actually like my book, I'll, well, you know, I'll write some more and read some more. See you later.